All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And check out the camo I got on this Karma Commission, I believe I'm using. Look at the camos in this game, man. We had the hot pink Victoria's Secret camo in the last video. And I didn't even, what? That, <laughs> that was a grenade fail right there. That's that rocket propel grenade. I don't even know what the hell that thing is, man. That thing sucks. Or at least I'm not having any fun with it. Uh, and for me, that's all this beta has been, man. Just trying to figure out what works for me. Trying to figure out what I'm having fun with. I think the first grenade you get, the cluster grenade, is the best one. And you guys might be wondering, damn, Thunder, why is your screen turning yellow so much? What the hell's going on? Can't you get the damn color correction <laughs> fixed on this damn map? Guys, look, that's got nothing to do with my color correction, man. That's the, uh, the rig trait, the assassin's trait called perception. And basically, whenever anyone looks at you uh, off screen, your camera, your screen will flash yellow. And you'll know someone's looking at you, you better move, which is actually really nice for me. I've been enjoying it because I know when my screen flashes yellow, I gotta hurry up and either dip behind a corner or someone's around me. It's like visual awareness. It's the awareness you can see. <laughs> Instead of seeing, oh my goodness, look at this shit right here, man. Look at this. Ready? Watch, 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 watch. Bloop! Come on, man. I mean, dude. <sighs> Listen, Black Ops 3, I didn't have to worry about that shit. I didn't have to worry about that at all. And what is up with the streaks in this game? Like, I know we're inside a space maze here. But why have maps like this? I mean, this map is awful, dude. Look, at you don't get no kills with your streaks. This map just blows. I like nice outdoor maps, like Jungle. How come they don't make more maps like Jungle from Black Ops 1? That was, or Bog from uh, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered. I like open maps where kill streaks put in work. I hate these maps where you're in all these buildings and shit, but anyway. So, fellas, this is Terminal in uh, Infinite Warfare. And just look at how shit this map looks. I mean, you guys remember how Terminal looked in MW2? It was nice and bright and colorful and everything. Look how shit it looks in this game. I mean, when did when did Modern Warfare 2 come out? Like five, six years ago? Why does this shit look even worse? Shouldn't the colors pop more? Shouldn't the map look better? I mean, it's the same map. It just looks and plays worse. And my aim is just all over the place right there. And I get dookied on. Uh, but anyway, fellas, listen, this beta has been, I already said this in the last video, this beta has been terrible, and that's the best grenade in the game right there, if you ask me. That concussion grenade, <laughs> that, um, that cluster grenade, thing's amazing. Whoa, what the hell just happened? And just look at how random everything is in this game, dude. And I don't even think that was lag. I think that guy was using the jetpack ability on one of these rigs. There's like a rig ability where you get jet thrusters and you, you pop your jet your jet thrusters and you literally lag. You like you float like five seconds and it's kind of like a glitch ability. But it's stupid, man. These rig abilities, dude, are pissing me off, man, really. Uh, and you know what, man? In Black Ops 3, I like the special stabilities because you could hardly notice them. Like, I would, I would hardly ever get killed by a special stability in Black Ops 3. I mean, they were there, but you didn't really notice them too well. It seems like the rig abilities here in Infinite Warfare just run the show, dude. I mean, I get killed. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this eraser. I get killed by rig abilities all the time. And look how super easy all these rig abilities are to get kills with. I mean, you just go in with these. And this eraser, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it. But, I mean, it's super OP. Look at this shit. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can spam it. I mean, with the gold gun, you couldn't rapid fire or shoot people. Rig abilities in Infinite Warfare way more OP than they were in uh, Black Ops 3 for sure. I mean, not only do you get a weapon, but you also get a trait. So you kind of get, uh, <laughs> like in Black Ops 3, you had to pick, right? You either got the trait or you got the weapon. In this game, you get them both for free. Uh, it, it just seems too much, dude. It really does. Now, uh, that being said, uh, the perks in this game are pretty garbage. There's only like two perks you really need in here. Uh, ghost and sleight of hand everything else you really don't need at all I mean these rig abilities alone are super but you don't even need perks just run the rig run this rig right here That lets you know when everyone's looking at you and that eraser pistol and you're good You could just trick out your gun with all attachments and shit <laughs> You could get one of them crazy ass variants with like eight attachments and just smash everybody uh, But listen fellas this this <laughs> this beta okay not only is the gameplay Kind of fucked up with the OP rig abilities and the quick scopers everywhere uh, but just the beta itself ran like shit. I mean, we had to wait forever to play. Uh, I get error-coded all the time playing this. The matchmaking takes forever. I mean, dude, are you serious? One of the most embarrassing betas I've ever played. And look, I know someone's looking at me, so I'm running. I'm getting out of the way. Getting out of the way. Ah! Damn, homie. I pulled a Rickon Stark. I should have zigzagged. <laughs> 
Yo, man, trying to stay alive in this game is hard, dude. I don't know how people get nukes in this shit. I see people tweet out all the time they got nukes. How? How you stay alive in this chaos? With all the crazy rig abilities popping off everywhere, the crazy, you're just getting flanked in the back all the time, the movement. There's no consistency here, man. Now, how do you consistently stay alive in a game that's so inconsistent? I just don't understand it. Everything's inconsistent in here. The time to kill, people coming at you from crazy angles. Oh, what the fuck just happened? What? Oh, it was another rig ability. Rig ability's running wild, son. <laughs> rig ability, that's what they should call this game. Call of Duty, rig's gone wild. <laughs> oh, anyway, man. Got another kill. Did I get a kill with that nade? I know I got a bunch of hit markers. I don't know. Maybe they had the flag jacket on. I don't know what the hell's going on. But listen, Activision. <laughs> now, listen, you guys are used to hearing my mouth. You guys are used to hearing me complain about COD. Hell, I've been doing it since day one. But, man, have you seen all your VIPs coming out here and roasting you guys? All your pros coming out here and roasting you guys? Like, I've seen a whole shitload of COD VIPs, people who you guys fly out, set up in hotels, give early access to to promote your game and so their channels can blow up. And they're even coming out here roasting this shit. <laughs> coming out here roasting this game saying it sucks. You got COD pros, some of the most famous COD pros ever. Nade Shot came out roasting this game. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, this is going to be the last... Um, space Warfare game we're probably going to see for a while. Uh, Sledgehammer Games, definitely. I will be shocked if they don't come back with some sort of boots on the ground. Uh, warfare, like I said, a Vietnam era. I personally would love to see World of War II come out, but I think Treyarch's got the rights to that. World of War II, I think, would be amazing, especially coming from Treyarch, because Treyarch is clearly the best development team in this uh, Activision, Menage a three-ring COD development circus. Uh, that they got going on here in Call of Duty. So I get my bombardment, right? And watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Am I going to get a kill? Am I going to get some kills? What? Oh, my God. My PS4 rage quit again. I got to <laughs> record it again, dude. Come on, man. Like I said, one of the worst betas I've ever played. I wish there was no beta. Honestly, I would have been better off without a beta. And watch me go in right here with the specialist rig ability. The eraser. And I don't know what just happened right there. Ooh, just melting people like a rapid fire, one shot kill people. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my screen turned yellow. There's a dude around me. I know the Ooh, get on, baby. <laughs> Rig, rig's running wild, son. Ooh. Damn, dude. And I don't even know if this is the most OP rig uh, variant of uh, rig ability in the game. I'm I'm pretty sure there's probably even more rig abilities coming that are even better than this. So the rigs just run the show, man. I'm telling you. It's going to be just fr it's super frustrating playing against something like this. When someone's running around with an insta-kill, no-skill weapon, it's just frustrating, dude. It eliminates the skill gap, and honestly, it just pisses people off. So, I mean, in Black Ops 3, you hardly notice the specialist abilities, right? And look at this dude right here. This game's so bad, he had to kill himself twice. <laughs> but look, man, in Black Ops 3, the specialist abilities were subtle. But here, it just seems like they're too much. And plus, when you when you, when you factor in all the variants and the rig abilities and the randomness of the gunfights with people flying at you from all over the place, dude, this game's going to piss a lot of people off. And like I said, I just don't see any future here. I don't see any future in this future. <laughs> I really don't. The future of COD is the past. So Call of Duty, Activision, uh, listen, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Triarch, dude, go back to the modern era. Please leave this space shit in the future <laughs> let my grandkids play this shit i don't need to we don't need to be playing this right now we're not ready let's go back to the modern era and all these perks are useless here dude they really i don't even know why i'm fucking with them they're useless all you need in this game is ghost and uh, dexterity period there's no there's no point running any of this shit uh, but i'm definitely learning what i like most in this game and that is that um assassin rig ability the eraser pistol and the perception that perception is nice as soon as your screen turns yellow you know there's somebody around you and you better dip behind a corner or else you're gonna die it's super useful uh, i haven't played and tinkered with all the rig abilities in this game but so far that assassin yo <laughs> the eraser and perception ghost and and uh dexterity th that's all i need in this game that's all i needed in this beta and not that I played that much of it, but I played it on Thursday, didn't play it Friday, Saturday, or Sunday at all, picked it up again on Monday, and that gameplay I just showed you is what I got on Monday. What a difference in betas, dude. Like I said, the Black Ops 3 beta, I couldn't put that shit down. I was having a ton of fun, rejacking on fools, getting four and five man Hellstorm missiles, I was loving it. This beta, I was like, oh man, do I gotta play this shit again? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Look at the color. Look at the look at the gun camo on this Karma Commission, dude. I mean, look at what kind of camo is that, man? That is some ugly ass burnt orange camo. It looks like shit. 
So you got futuristic warfare, but the graphics and the colors look like they're from the 1980s. I mean, seriously, dude, just awful. Uh, anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got. If you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good shit. Oh, and guys, I was only kidding on Twitter. I will get an EA account so I can play Battlefield. <laughs> but I think it's just dumb how they make you have to go out and get an account just to get online and play some Battlefield multiplayer. But if all I got to do is make a little five-second account to play some Battlefield to bring it to you guys, I will do that. I can do that for you. I mean, after all, they gave me the game for free. I mean, I could go out and make an account, I guess, right? I mean, well, I could take 10 seconds out of my day to make an EA account. But anyway, I just think that's dumb. Why do they make you make accounts, extra accounts, just to play Battlefield? You don't have to do that in any other game, do you? I know in COD, I don't. I just jump on here and play. Anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go make an EA account so I can play some Battlefield. And uh, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.